Andre, we broke Blueberry. Yes, it happened. Yes. If you've been following the saga of our 2024 Toyota Tacoma, or as lovingly we call it, Blueberry, you know that we took it off-roading and something snapped. That video is over at alltfl.com. Let's just show them what snapped, or at least show them how it happened when it snapped. Yes. What was that? Oh, that wasn't good. I wonder what that was. I heard a pop, dude. I heard a pop too. Maybe I lost uh, front wheel drive. Oh, I need to check it out. Oh, let me look. There's nothing visible yet. Hold on. There's no fluid or anything visible, so... All right, let me do this. Let, tell me if the front wheels are turning. Okay. No. no. Hold on a sec. No, no. You think I lost, you think I lost two-wheel drive? Ah, uh, that's not good. Can you... Back up, careful, slowly, go slowly. So in this video, we are gonna try to diagnose the situation before we take it to the dealership. So what are we gonna do, Andre? Well, I wanna do a couple of things. I wanna put it on a lift yes. to see underneath the truck. Uh, I mean, we looked under it when we were in the mountains, but it was snowy, it was difficult to do. I also wanna put it on, on the rollers, we have rollers, um, and see exactly what components are spinning and maybe what's not spinning. And we've got behind the camera Case, who is the most technically minded of our team, so uh, he'll kind of help us along when uh, we actually look underneath. So I would suggest that, like you said, let's put it on the lift and see if we see anything that's obviously broken. And then what we can do is put on the rollers and then roll the engine and see what's spinning and what's not spinning. So you wanna drive it into the uh, TFL barn? Yes. Oh, sorry, TFL studio. TFL tumbleweed. With the Tacoma on the lift, Case and I do a visual inspection on the front driveline components and nothing seems out of place or damaged. The front drive shaft shows no damage, the half shafts appear intact, we didn't remove the rubber boots on each half shaft to inspect the joints, but neither of them would spin freely, meaning their connections should still be solid, especially if they haven't flown apart after driving at highway speeds for an extended period of time to get back to our tumbleweed ranch. That being said, we want to put the Tacoma on our rollers to make sure the transfer case is engaging the front drive shaft. And if we see the front drive shaft spinning, then our most likely culprit is a failure in the front differential. Alrighty, so I should back up? Yep. And you'll have to have a push to get off eventually. Okay. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> there you go. Am I in? Yeah. I'm in neutral. All right, Case, I'm gonna put it to four high. I don't think we need to go to four low. All right, and I think I might have even seen the drive shaft moved a little bit already. So I think it might, if I had to guess, if I was a betting man, I'd think maybe, uh, maybe it's gonna end up being front diff, but let's see you try to get unstuck. Okay, should I uh, drive forward? Yeah, and I can see that drive shaft moving a little bit. Yep. Yes? So your drive shaft is spinning, 
both of them, front and rear. But your front wheels are not being powered, which makes me think front diff. It could be one of the, uh, the CVs that just isn't broken enough that it's flown apart. Sure. Or not, well, yeah, it, it could be one of the half yeah. shafts that's just not broken enough that it's flown apart outside of that rubber boot. Um, or it could be the diff itself. Yeah, or it could be the diff itself. Okay. What? Sorry, it, it, it wants me to uh, get my yeah. seat belt on. Oh, okay. But if I had to guess, I, I would guess front diff. So the drive shaft, drive shaft is spinning, front drive shaft. So something ahead of the uh, front drive shaft in front of it is broken. Yeah, something between the diff and the yeah. and the wheels. Well, I think basically. I think the next uh, thing, Andre, is for us to jump in the truck and take it to the dealership because at this point, you know, they're going to have to deal with it. Yeah. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Our new Tacoma series is brought to you guys by our friend Scott O'Sullivan at O'Sullivan Law Firm. Use either the phone number or the link in the description below. No matter where you are in the country, call Scott first. If you have an incident or something happens, he's been a friend of ours for a couple of years and he's a great attorney. So Andre, we've had this truck how long now? Exactly four weeks. We bought it February 2nd, 2024 and we went to Houston to pick it up. Yeah, and we've put on over 3,600 miles on it already. <laughs> yes, I think it's 3,600 and like 15 miles. And of course, we paid for this ourselves, so our skin is in the game. But you know, the one thing I do want to point out before all you guys start typing, you know, Toyota quality, Toyota quality, this is truck number 319. That's what the VIN says, says yeah. yeah. So it could be a early production issue. It could be a casting issue. We don't, we don't know. And so I think taking it to the dealer and having to look at it will get us the answers that we want because right now we're just guessing at it. So Andre, I believe we're going to get the mystery solved. We made it to the uh, local Toyota dealership and yep. I think uh, those guys will look underneath and let us know what's wrong with it. Yeah, this is Mountain States Toyota. They're one of the largest in our area. So, yes. So we brought it here because we figured they'd know what to do with it. Uh, so I guess the only thing left to say is to be continued. Yes, the story continues. And now it has been several days since we dropped off the truck at the dealer. And what's the latest? Well, here's how it breaks down. When the problem happened and we dropped it off, we spoke directly to Toyota because we have a relationship with them, with right. their PR department. And also we have interviewed their engineering team many times. They were super quick to respond. So I have to say that. Mm -hmm. Very soon after I called them, Chief Engineer Sheldon called us and Roman and I spoke with them. He said that he was, of course, worried and concerned. Um, he said he was sorry, and he wanted to get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. So fast forward another day or two, we talked to, together again, yep. and they confirmed it was a failure of a part inside the front differential. Well, that makes a lot of sense considering all the evidence leading up to this point. So there's something called the ADD, Automatic Differential Disconnect. Um, in a Toyota. That's the part that allows you to shift from two-wheel drive high to four-wheel drive high on the move while right. you're moving, right? And trucks have had this for decades or years, right? Yes. Um, so there's a part in there that is designed to fail under extreme conditions, but there may be something else going on with this particular part in our truck. Basically, it's designed to fail in a good way so it doesn't destroy the rest of the drive line and we were able to drive the truck to this uh to the dealer yeah as a matter of fact we have footage of us going to the rollers and going in and out of four-wheel drive and trying to figure out what was going on and from the the ranch it was able to drive to the dealership no warning lights coming on no smoke no weird noises nothing like that and normal speed right everything is normal so uh that part is designed to fail in a nice way but it probably should not have failed in this environment on snow and ice where we were. Yeah, I would agree. So that's the latest we have so far. Um, in a couple days, hopefully soon, 
from now, we'll be able to get our truck back. So they're going to replace the part uh, and we can test it again. Early production trucks, what are you going to do? Sometimes they have issues. Yeah, but I know you guys have been waiting for this video for a very long time. Right. Uh, you wanted to know what happened. We tested it on our rollers, like you said. We, th we thought it was a front diff. Toyota confirmed it. The dealership confirmed it. And they're working. Uh, they told me there are 20 people from the Toyota engineering team are working on this problem. Uh, wow. they're, they're, they're on top of it. They are indeed. So stay tuned. We're going to have updates coming at you really soon. Thank you.